working with small business owners, what is your particular focus or concern or interest in dealing with them? Let's, let's talk about that in two ways. Let's talk about if they're a brand new company or let's talk about if they're an existing company. Okay. Um, let's pretend we've got a brand new company coming in that wants to go into business. Um, what do I look for when I'm working with those startup business owners? I, I guess to me the first thing I want to find out is, is this really a good idea? Um, we talked about this last week when you were talking about your business planning. I'd like to see that they put together some kind of a business plan. Um, they might be able to get the financing for it based on their personal financial strength or a great credit score, but somewhere in there we need to determine from the get-go, is this a good idea or not? Mm -hmm. And um, the other thing about starting up a business is not only financial, but um, some of the non-financial things that are just as important. Are they prepared for the lifestyle changes, the 16-hour the days? Um, are they prepared maybe for the cut in salary? Um, is this really a good idea? Does it fit in with what they're trying to do? Um, back to that cut in salary part. They probably are worth sixty or eighty thousand dollars a year, but the company may only be able to afford to pay them forty or forty five thousand dollars a year. So is this individual able to go and start a company without torpedoing his or her personal lifestyle? So you do get into this psychological preparation with them to some extent? Well, to the extent that I can. I'm, I'm not a psychologist, but but I think that these are questions that they need to make sure that they've thought through as well. Otherwise, Good. you know, we're all going to be in trouble if you find out a year from now you really don't want to be here. Good. And for the existing business owners? For the existing business owners, a couple things I look at. I, I try to look at the financial information and the performance of the company, and I'm, I'm going to come back to that in a second. But one of the things that I see when somebody has had a successful company for a year or two is um, they're going to now take that company that – Maybe Jerry's company, for example. Jerry is the reason that uh, your company has done as well as it has. And so now you want to open up another location that you're going to own 40 miles away. Now, my, my question is, Jerry's the guy that this company has succeeded in, in Glenwood Springs. Is he going to be able to hire a manager that feels just as strongly, just as importantly about Jerry on some of the other things? Is Jerry going to be able to transform his vision? his dream of the company, whatever you want to define that, will the person that he hires to run that new location capture it the same way? And uh, that's an important one. I, my, my example is a local restaurant in Glenwood Springs wanted to open a second location in Grand Junction. A great idea, a great facility in Glenwood Springs. My question was, do you have the people that are going to be able to take care of it in Grand Junction the way that you've taken care of it in, uh, in Glenwood Springs?